A reason to celebrate, if only for a brief shining moment, Republicans and Democrats have actually agreed on something, passed a bill, and sent it along to the Senate, where it is also expected to pass, and then get a signature from the president. Even more amazing, it's about American energy. Now let's see if all the huzzas are all worth it. Welcome to the conversation. The vice president and chief economist for the American Council for Capital Formation, Margo Thorning, joins us. Margo, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. My here, pleasure. Here we have the House of Representatives passing a bill to speed the permits for exports of liquefied natural gas, LNG. But wait a minute. As I look at this, this looks really like good news. But I see some people who say this really won't bring much new fuel to global markets. What's the truth? Well, I think it's very important that we speed up the process of permitting companies who want to enter into the international market with our liquefied natural gas. We have so much natural gas production that's been that has come about because of hydraulic fracturing, and we need markets for it. Drilling is already tailed off because the price of natural gas is so low in the U.S., about 260 a thousand cubic feet, that it doesn't pay to keep drilling. So allowing us to export to Asia and to Europe, and as you know, uh, the Europeans are very dependent on Russia for natural gas. They would very much like to diversify their source of supply. So we need some congressional push to speed up DOE's permitting of export facilities. Now, you brought in Russia into the conversation. I think that's fair because we've talked about Russia. We talk about Putin, the fact that he may, if he wanted to, he could just shut off the tap on his natural gas and he could pretty much put Europe into a freeze right now if he wanted to. Is this perhaps then something that America can use as another stick in the eye to Russia basically and say, all right, we'll just go ahead export our gas out there will put you in an even greater economic bind. Well, it certainly uh, buys, uh, it's a very helpful for our strategic alliance with our European friends. And if we could get these permits approved faster, these export facilities, which take several years to build, could be up and running in the next three or four years. Right now, we can't export very much because we haven't built the export facilities. We're just starting to do that. But it still lets Russia and other countries know that we're going to be a force in global markets, and it will help increase our bargaining position on a host of issues. Do you think that it would make a difference, though, if America was to do that and pretty much make that public to Putin that this is a weapon we're now going to use against you? Would that be effective? Well, it would make give him pause before he would turn off the taps, as he did uh, several years ago in some of the uh, countries near Russia. Uh, you may remember that some of the countries in the dead of winter, he cut back the gas significantly. So it would give him pause for thought because market share is important for Russia. They mostly depend on exports of oil and natural gas for, their, for, the, for the revenue. So if he thinks there is a threat to his market share in Europe, he will certainly uh, it will be given pause for thought. I understand he's done a deal with China to export natural gas because he's, I think, fearful of uh, needing more markets than are going to be available to him in Europe. I only have about 45 seconds. How do you react to some reports who say that if there are high, higher levels of exports from America, that American consumers will spend $7 billion more on their natural gas bills and they will go up? Well, there are a host of studies by the Department of Energy and various consulting firms which are available on our unlockcrudeexports.org website, which suggest that there will be almost no impact on domestic uh, natural gas prices because we have so much supply that prices are likely not to go up by more than 5% or 10%. And when you're talking at natural gas at 260 a thousand cubic feet, that's a trivial increase. So most of the studies suggest that there will be very little impact on natural gas prices, but there will be more jobs, more increase in GDP, and stronger ties with our allies in Asia, like Japan and other countries and Europe, who really need our natural gas. And again, it's unlockcrudeexports.org. Check it out. Get the numbers there as well. We'll continue to follow the story. Dr. Margot Thorning, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Plenty of glee and attendance smiling about Republicans, now that they're in control of Congress, already faced with a logical question. How long will it last? We'll touch on that when Midpoint continues.